Sneaky's calling me. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hello. What is up? Can you hear me? Yeah, nice, nice jersey you got there. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, <laughs> I didn't check out yours yet. Maybe You're gonna wear that tomorrow? Um, I don't think so. Wow. Oh, I Looks see. Really good you like that? You like nice. that? It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's my color. Yeah, it's it's pretty dank. First time changing the jersey colors. It actually is for us. Is it for you too? Yeah, I think it is for us as well. Oh yeah. I remember seeing Shield G change theirs for like Valentine's Day, I think, or yeah, something. Yeah. We we never did that. They changed theirs yeah. for like every event almost too. Oh really? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah. They have like the the MSI one, the America jersey. Oh yeah, I remember that now actually. It's pretty cool. All right, dude. Uh, one sec, one sec. Uh, you, you ready to <clears throat> AMA? To answer yeah. anything? Are you ready to answer? Is is the question, what is an AMA? Is that a meme? Because everyone's spamming it in my stream for the last hour. <laughs> so either people don't know what AMAs are, or there's a meme I'm not aware of. Um, I'm going to assume it's a meme, because all right, all right. it's, uh, you know, it's pretty popular <laughs> thing. Ask uh, me anything. I, I won't be able to read out subs and donations, by the way. Well, we're coming. Anyway, it's probably. A... All right, dude. Where do we start? Do you have the uh, document? I do have the document. Do you want me to read out the first question? Uh, I think the first one. It's yeah. This, do you I, actually I use T-Mobile? Yes or no? Yeah. Right now, yeah, on the, the spot. <laughs> uh, yeah. I <clears throat> just recently got my. T-Mobile SIM card. Feels, nice. feels good, man. How about uh, you? Actually, we were using T-Mobile for the last like, two years on a TSM plan, even before we got uh, partnered or sponsored. So mm -hmm. we didn't even have to make that transition. Uh, I don't know. I, I've, always, I've always liked having T-Mobile. Uh, my brother came to the U.S. like two weeks ago. I didn't even know we were going to be partnered with them, and I told my brother to get T-Mobile because it's what <laughs> I've had for like... Uh, just the last two years or so. My brother just mm -hmm. moved to the U.S., so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty now cool. He's a, now he's a T-Mobile user as well. <gasps> Already got one customer. <laughs> Lining them up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, we went to Korea a few times, and, like, I didn't have T-Mobile back then, but, <clears throat> like, a lot of my team did, and they just all had internet on their phones. Oh, yeah, you have data internationally, too. Yeah. That's actually it's my like favorite the unlimited part. stuff. Yeah. I was just sitting there, <laughs> legit can't call anyone, text anyone, like look at Twitter, and then they're like at dinner, like able to look at everything. It was, yeah. it was so sad. <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah, good it's... if you're traveling or when I go home, I can use my phone freely. Super nice. In Denmark, yeah. In, in the Denmark. <laughs> All right, dude. I got, I got another question for you. <clears throat> what career do you think you would be pursuing if you were not a league pro? And would you still try to play league? Um. Oh, should I? Should we read out who's asking the questions? It's from at Kev D Fam. Yeah, I think that definitely works. Um. One second here. All right. Um. I'm not entirely sure because I was just in college. Um. You know, for not even a year. So I was just really figuring out like what I want, kind of wanted to do. So I, it wasn't like completely clear to me. I mean, I was in computer science in college and it, the courses I had to go through were really weird for my college. You had to go through like generic engineering stuff to even start computer science. So I didn't really get much exploration in like programming, pro, pro gaming, <laughs> pro gaming. <laughs> yeah. So I, I definitely would have tried that out cause, and I just love video games so much. And based off that, that's where I would have started, or where I was starting. How about you? Would you still play League for fun, even if you were doing something else? Would I play League for fun? Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I was, like, obsessed with it in, like, late high school and then college. Just couldn't stop playing. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. Because <laughs> I dropped out of high school, so I was not on a path for anything. <laughs> uh I don't know. When I was when I was a kid, I wanted to work in a zoo, work with animals, because I liked animals. 
But uh, I, I have no idea what I would do. I would probably still play League. I don't know if I would play it as religiously for like... What have I have I've been playing for like six years now? Or something crazy? Mm -hmm. But I, I think I'd still play if my friends were playing. It would probably be more of a social online thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I still enjoy the game. The dream zoo job. Oh, my chat is just spamming that I'm already working with a bunch of animals. <laughs> <laughs> Very relevant. Nice, nice meme. <laughs> Alright, the next question is from Ed's <laughs> daughter. Sneaky's <laughs> daughter, wow. Nice. It says, did you ever think you'd end up being this successful with a c gaming career when you first started? Hmm. Uh, I mean, definitely not. I, I just kind of got to play pro, not because I pursued it. I think it's like that for a lot of people. A lot of people don't really pursue becoming a pro gamer. You just play the game a lot because you enjoy it, then you end up being good, and then it's like, oh, you know, I can actually make a living. So <clears throat> I had zero expectations when I started. Yeah, it was... It's actually really similar for me. I kind of think it just falls upon you, like, at least back then. Yeah, um, back then, no one really... It wasn't... I don't know. It, it definitely wasn't as well-paying. It wasn't a very stable lifestyle, so I don't think as many people pursued it actively, I guess. Yeah, I, I think, like, with all the stuff that League's moving towards, it'll probably become more of a thing that you can, <coughs> like, actively pursue. Oh, and, like, the... You know, you know like, the college programs for League... Oh yeah, that's a yeah, thing. Like, that that stuff probably helps a lot too, for yeah, that's true. letting people just play the game as well. That is true. All right, at Dark Epsilon One Forty S, what if your what is your favorite game of all time besides League? Oh, that's that's easy that for is, me. Really? Yeah, I, th I think so. I, it's probably some of the years. I I'd say like the the Soul series, like yeah, Dark Souls. For, for me, it's like. World of Warcraft, Counter Strike, or the Dark Souls games; those are my favorite. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like Dark Souls, just all those games are just really fun because they're just super mechanical, and you actually get destroyed on boss fights. <laughs> and like your first experience with the game is always <coughs> so interesting because I'm pretty sure everyone goes the wrong way and like tries really hard to get <laughs> the, the first wrong way Dark stuff. Souls. Yeah, you just yeah, don't like, know where you're going. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck on like. The, the skeletons to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, area. That's where I went too, because I just see the stairs and I'm like, yeah, this is probably where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it, it was awful. <laughs> so you said, do you have one you'd go with, probably? Uh, I mean, I think I spent the most time on WoW and Counter Strike, but Dark Souls mm -hmm. series is like the most recent one that I've just enjoyed so much. Just, I don't know, I'm always looking forward to playing it. I, I even haven't played through the the third DLC or Bloodborne yet? Because, I don't know, we've just been practicing oh, so much, yeah. but they're super fun games. I agree. Alright. At Coldest Cheerio asks, if you celebrated Lent, would you be able to give up bananas for 40 days? Lent? What is Lent? Uh, I wasn't going to say that because I would sound it like an idiot, but yeah, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solemn religious observance in the Christian liturgical calendar. How could you not know that? <laughs> uh, I've never heard of it before. Wait, what was the other part of the question? Would you be if able you to give, give up, up bananas for <laughs> bananas days? Bananas for 40 days. What? I mean, if I had to. <laughs> sure. I know, I eat bananas uh, in between every LCS game, but I could probably <laughs> find another snack if if I ultimately had to. <laughs> oh, wait, here it is. It says it's basically fasting, except you're giving up certain luxuries. So, <clears throat> just so it's, saying like a, it's like an the easy banana. way of fasting. It's like, hmm, instead, of, instead of not eating, I'll just not eat bananas. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think they're trying to play off the fact that you like love bananas or something. Like, like you. I don't even eat bananas that much. Just, I eat them in between the LCS games, so the, the freaking camera's always on me, eating my banana. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a joke, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I think we could probably survive 40 days with no bananas. All right. I, I hope so. You're a strong man. <laughs> strong mentality. 
All right, next question is from at some dude MD it says, "How did you choose your respective roles? Is it something you chose or fell into?" Hmm. Uh, I first played eighty k, but then I just started getting so tilted when my sport was playing bad, so I wanted to play like a solo role, and then I just kind of bounced between mid and top until I eventually ended up on mid. I just wanted to play something where I didn't really have to rely on anyone for the most part, and I could have a high game impact that I felt like that was mid. What did you mean by like you first started playing in a carry? Like, like you, season you first... one. Like before like, season like one I guess like stuff? beta. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was back. I, I was similar except I started playing mid. You know like the, the opposite I guess of what you did. You were like hmm, um, <laughs> I want to have a butt buddy down ball in. No I just did, did you ever play uh, Dota or Han? Uh huh. Yeah, like, I played mid there, just because it felt like the hardest carry role. So I kind of just tried to do the same thing in League, but uh, <laughs> I, I really just gravitated towards right-clicking champions. I don't know, I just felt like there are ways you to carry, like, the super late game, like, carry with um, yeah. for me. So I just eventually figured out that those guys were supposed to go bot lane, and <clears> then <throat> I just went to that role. Yeah, I think for a lot of people it also comes down to what champions do you like playing, and then kind of just whatever role they fit in when you're starting out. Mm -hmm. I guess it was like that for me. Yeah. Like, I played Ash mid, back when you did, like, the arrow TP thing, but then Ash <laughs> became a bot lane champion, and I was like, huh, I guess I have to play Ash bot. Uh, that's kind of why I even played bot lane in the first place. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a good strat. Cross map kills. Oh, yeah. Uh, at Son of Alothkar... It says, uh, what has been your biggest motivation throughout the years and inspires you to keep striving to be the best? Uh, for me, I'd probably just say, like, my enjoyment for the game. Like, I don't really have a time where I'm just super reluctant to play because it's just such a fun game. Like, I just constantly queue up, constantly trying to figure out, like, what the next best thing is or just how to, like, play better in the the meta if it's really defined so it's just my enjoyment of the game like really keeps me going how about you yeah i think you're never the perfect player so there's always so many things you can work on in the game i guess there's no like limit to what you can get better at either there's a new patch and you can be the first one to figure out what's good or like you said you can like uh be the one to master the current patch even though people there's already kind of like a set meta i don't know there's just Always things to get better at. I've played this game for so many years, but still can't get out of groups. <laughs> Hard Feels game. bad, man. <laughs> yeah. It just is. Hey, you got out of groups once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it's you know just unlucky draws. Yeah. It's always <laughs> unlucky draws. Always the group of death for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, at Average Support says, what strange pregame rituals slash habits do you have that feel help you perform better? I take a shit before pretty much every LCS game. Like, <laughs> right before we go on stage. Wow. <laughs> That's, would you really call that a ritual? I don't know, it just kind of happens, and it's, it's like my pregame thing now. <laughs> it gets me fired up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, what, I've what, definitely what, yeah. done that before, and it's like, relaxed me a bit. <laughs> Re relaxes the, the muscles. It's it's it's. A, I mean, I don't know. It just happens. Now my teammates just meme me about it for doing it. They're like, "Oh, are you gonna go take a dump yet?" And I'm like, "Yep, that's what I do." D does no one follow you? Try out your ritual. No, I mean, I don't know. They don't have complete control over their bowel movements like me. Mm. <laughs> Pre-planned. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, let's forget about that. What is your pregame ritual or habit? Um, I don't have that much. Like, I I usually eat two hours before. I mean, that doesn't exactly matter like how long before, but I eat some time before, and then about like thirty minutes, I'll usually have uh, some coffee, and then after the first game, I usually get a Red Bull. But that's like. It's kind of like after game ritual. After first game ritual. After game ritual. There's no like lucky underwear or lucky socks. Mm. Lucky magenta uh, jersey. <laughs> Maybe I could do the the jersey now, but so far no. Just 
just my uh, my coffee, my caffeine. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, next one is still me. Uh, next question is from Ed McGill Montoyan. Says, I'm curious, Sneaky, what sets TSM apart from the NAL other NALCS teams? And Bjergsen, same question, what sets C9 apart? Oh, my God. It's a difficult question. What What is our strength? <laughs> what is your strength? Yes. Uh, I think C C9 and R have always played, or C9 and TSM. I've always played kind of similarly because we scrim a lot. So if we do something well, you guys will adapt to it pretty quickly. And if you if we do something well, I feel like you guys adapt to it pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It might not always show on stage, but when we scrim, I feel like our, our teams are very similar. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I'd um, you know, I'd say TSM has some nice mid control. <laughs> Says C9. <laughs> do, you, do you even have a lane partner, or is me just? <laughs> It's pretty just a secondary mid laner. <laughs> Bjergsen in the, the four wards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are some... Uh, Both teams are quite good at camping mid. Yeah. There, there are some times, like, summer last year, where you guys are insane at that, like, four-man roam bot side, and we, we were, like, really bad at responding to it. I remember that one, like, specifically, because he just always dove me. <laughs> it, it was not a good time, but it was it was very good mid control. The gank double of slain. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> that is a staple. Mm -hmm. At Wallbolts asks if you were a champion in league, who would it be? Wow. Hmm. I I don't know if I'm supposed to relate to a champion or just if I could be I a champion know. IRL. But, <laughs> yeah, Ur Urgot's pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, Urgot's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I could just ult people, bring them into my, my meat grinder. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go with Twisted Fate if I could be a champion. No, that was my answer. No, I can't use an answer. Yeah, okay. TS pretty cool. Yeah, you could just ulti around. You can go wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. You got a range, though. Yeah, and it, it doesn't even matter where you end up. You're still going to have unlimited data with T-Mobile. <laughs> wow, that's that's true. <laughs> International. <laughs> I don't know what I would be now. Uh, what what about Rise? That's what my chat says. Rise, Rise is like a... I guess you could bring your friends, too. That's a yeah, exactly. Rise. Probably Rise or Echo going back in time is pretty cool. Oh. If you mess wait. up. If you like forget to use Zonius in a team fight or something, you're gonna regret it for the next six months. You could just <laughs> use Echo. Uh, Echo is actually pretty good. It, it might be the best one. You, you you figure out you're gonna die sometime, and you salty. You, you're gone. Yeah. You get out of there next time. Pretty good. Go back like I don't know four seconds or something. <laughs> something. Hey, that's maybe enough time to run. Come on. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna die. Uh <laughs> gonna die from a heart attack in four seconds <laughs> <laughs> just just calm down real quick <laughs> uh, oh oh it's your question never mind okay uh <clears throat> the aries tofu asks what role would you play if you had to change from your current role what do you got what's your Ooh. second role probably jungle i feel like jungle is like the the role that can do what I wanted from mid in the first place, which is like have a lot of impact on the map, I guess. Uh, I think jungle has a lot of impact too. I don't know. I think I'm pretty biased from playing jungle in solo queue, where it's actually a fun role, but <laughs> in competitive play, you're just the laner's bitch, kind of. I don't know. If you if you go to one side of the map, you're pretty much like sacking the other side of the map. Everything that happens on the map is ruled they're on the jungler, so it's probably a lot more stressful to play in competitive play. Yeah. Because every decision you make is so impactful. That's Joe. Yeah, for sure. I've I've heard Medias talk to me a lot about like the difference between competitive and solo queue jungling. It's just like competitive everything's super calculated like you said, and then in solo queue it's like you gotta play as greedy as possible. Yeah, you just you can just like tax people, get really fed. Yeah. It's fun. Just pick the, the super carries. Yeah. What would you play? Would Sneaky go mid, he specifically asked. <laughs> uh, I played. I, mean, I played against your mid. 
Yeah. It was, it was pretty good. I, I definitely played a soul against you once. You played soul against me? Yeah, it, it was when Dynamic Q was a thing. And I played against your entire team. Ooh. And you. <laughs> oh, I remember that game. The Zeth did come. Yeah, I went like 4-22 or something. I think that was like right after Soul came out too. So no one knew what the champion did. Yeah, it was, it was my first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I've game. already uh, given you a taste of my <laughs> second year. <laughs> that, that was a great game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely choose mid. I don't play it that much. I think I have like a... 4% like secondary roll rate in solo queue, but yeah, I, I definitely choose mid. Alright. Uh, at Pelilo and a bunch of numbers asks if the mid lane was a duo lane, who would I like to play with? Bjergsen and Jensen in one lane? That'd be pretty <laughs> cool, but I think we're, we're both too greedy to work together. I, I guess it would have to be like a one of them would have to be a supportive mid laner or something. So I guess like a support player. I, I don't really know. Do you think it's... Yeah, I was going to say, like, do you think it would be like like that? Like you literally just have two mid laners? Yeah, it would just and, be like an old like lane mid lane, like a perma roaming support. Yeah. Probably. I mean, if you have a second guy mid, he can just go everywhere on the map. Probably yeah. Ole, actually. That guy's a beast roamer. I hit playing against that guy. <laughs> Yeah, o Ole was... like ganks his own lane the way he plays bot lane. That's how much he runs. Oh wait, did did you watch that Reddit video from that for that quote? The Dong Hopka? Yeah. I only watched the first couple minutes, but I, I think that was in that video. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that was one of his talking points. He was like, Ole ganks even his own lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've just seen it when he like leaves lane as Bard, and it's like Bard's roaming, and then he just comes portaling in on his own lane. It's like, oh no, he's kicking his own lane. <laughs> yeah. Wait, am I, am I supposed to answer that question too? Probably not. Uh, maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah, if it's... mid lane was a duo lane, who would you play with? Of course, Smoothie, right? Uh, Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just, I, I, I do lane with Smoothie mid sometimes. Oh, yes. On the occasion. On the occasion? Yeah. You know, when we're uh, in the mid game. Sometimes fly over to the mid lane. It's an enjoyable time. Yeah. Well, how does these next questions work? So, I guess I just read the question that I get. Oh. And you yeah. Read the it says you get. Ask a question from Twitch chat for Bjergsen stream. So. Take a question from your chat. Oh, it's not the ones on here. Oh, oh. I see. I see. I, I I mean we can do it like that, but yeah. I see. I'll read out your question then. We see okay. you guys eat out a lot. What is your favorite restaurant, Sneaky? From Steel Millie. Um, my favorite restaurant. If if I'm like ordering, <coughs> this place called um Mama Hong's. It's a pho. Super like good. It, it's actually like the only delivery pho. That isn't terrible. <laughs> Every other one I've had is just awful. But Mama Hung's pho delivery is really good. But if it was... Like, if I could go there, um, I'd probably choose Boa Steakhouse. The place is delicious. Boa Steakhouse? There? No, I've never been. Yeah, you, you should. It's, it's pretty close. Huh. <clears throat> but, oh, what's it called? Mama Hung's pretty good. I, there was a time where Reggie would go there, like, twice a day. So if I would ever go there, he would ask me, where's Andy? I haven't seen him today yet. <laughs> he would just always go. <laughs> that, that sounds like so much fun, actually. Yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> Wait, that, that one was from your chat? I have it on the sheet. I think these are just ones that was... I don't really know how it works. But I think... Oh. I mean, they're, they're on the sheet for me. That's the one. Oh, I really? We can also read ones from chat, though. I don't really know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I, 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 I think it was just, like, grab one from chat. Random well, ones from chat? Right. Yeah. Alright, feel free to ask me a question. Okay. From your chat. Alright, All right. so my chat's gonna just write a bunch of questions that you want me to ask Siki, and then I'll do that. And then your chat can write questions for me, I guess? Yeah. 
These are great questions, like the nipple-sized pony or the <laughs> pony-sized nipple. Those <laughs> kinds of questions. All right, I, I got a question. Who is your favorite pro player to watch that doesn't play in your team? Oh, my God. Hmm. Like streams? Yeah. Probably probably Crown. I like watching Crown stream. I watch him like when I eat and stuff. He streams mm -hmm. actually a lot, and he's good, so... Usually, I'll usually watch Crown or just to so, so someone who's on when I'm eating. Just whoever is like online while, when I'm eating, I'll usually watch. Sometimes Scara, something like that. Mm -hmm. Crown's probably my favorite though. <laughs> the the Scara. <laughs> Scara's is always on when I'm streaming, or maybe he's just always streaming. I I don't really know. Yeah, I, I I've seen him a few times <clears throat> for sure. All right, um. Guys. Let me see if I can find a good one. Give me a question. Give me a book. These questions suck. <laughs> did you invent Minecraft? <laughs> These are not good questions. Why, yes, I did. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Wait, someone actually asked that in your chat. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch uh, Tyler 1's LCS tournament? Oh, the T1 yeah, the... Invitationals? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see all of it, but I saw some parts. Oh, if Sneaky could leave C9... This is like the first legitimate question I read, so... If Sneaky could leave C9 for a Korean team, would he? <laughs> no, I would not. Uh, what if you I, had I like to? Be too what weird. if you got kicked? You got sent off to Korea and you had to join a team. Oh, if I had to? I uh, so. Um... Oof. I'll go with uh, I'll go with Longju. I'll I'll steal Prey spot. Oof. Or you think or I'll, win it? I'll I'll work under Prey. No, that, that Is Longju gonna go all the way? Yeah. Or I, I hope so. Oh. All right, you heard it here first. Yeah, I'll I'll be tag team partners with Prey. <laughs> Prey actually speaks okay English. Oh really? Yeah. I haven't talked to him. I don't think. I played with him at the uh, All Stars, and oh, it, Impact taught yeah. me to say "sleep with me" or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> something like yeah, that. I know a few of those Korean ooh, phrases actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's what's the next one? Oh, it's for you. You got it. You got Ask the good me. ones in the chat. Oh no, I I think we're supposed to go back to the other ones. All right. All right. And then we do like chat later again. Right. Am I asking you? Or are you asking me? I think this one's yours. Okay. As in, I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, okay. You, you see it on the sheet, right? Are you looking the same thing as me? Yeah, I see it now. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. What is the funniest thing to happen in a scrim between the two teams? Do fun things happen during scrims? I don't know. Sneaky, um, why did you have a lot of fun in scrims between the two of us? <laughs> I, I would say, like, a long-ass <laughs> time ago, there was some dank stuff that happened, but super recently, like, the last, you know, almost two years, it'd be harder to, like, point stuff out. Yeah. It's pretty serious business. Yeah. It's full business. It no fun. Just, <laughs> I think I remember when, when I had Dyrus on my team, I think we were screaming you guys, and he like mm -hmm. forgot to change his runes, so we had to remake, and then we came into the new lobby, we went into the game, and he didn't change his runes again. <laughs> <laughs> we just remade for the purpose of changing runes, and he still didn't change his runes. <laughs> that's just a, that's a really troll thing I remember. Yeah, I think I that feel like that's that's recently. not the first time. That is definitely not the only time either that it's happened. Yeah, that, that that's actually still really common. Except it's masteries usually. Yeah. Like they have the wrong keystone, and, and like or, everyone or can no see keystone. it too. Yeah, no keystone. <laughs> it's like, oh, you guys need a remake or what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. Hit, hit me with a good question. 
Okay, the next question. The best one you got. Um, Javi Law says, what are their favorite per, uh, past NALCS playoff locations? Ooh. Hmm. I don't what know, do that's got? a tough one. Let me think. I, I haven't don't know. been to that many of the like super recent ones. Really? How about you guys yeah. got to... I missed... Well, like, they oh, only you, started you missed traveling the, you like, missed the, super recently. You guys missed the one where you had the gauntlet run. But you went to every other one, right? You went to... Did you guys there not was... go to No, no, we, we, we missed Vegas? two of them. Oh, there... I see. It was 2015 <clears throat> summer we missed, and then uh, 2016 spring we missed. Oh. I don't know. The problem is when we go to playoffs, we don't see any of the city wherever we go. Because it's just the good old life of being in the hotel, going to the venue, scrimming, going back and forth. You don't really get to, I don't know, see what's different about each City, I guess. I think Toronto mm -hmm. is the one where we got to see the most because we met up with these dudes that did some like some chi thing, some like meditation, and we went out, we sat some outside on the thing. grass, and we did some like meditation. So I saw some of Toronto, and then uh, Vegas was pretty cool, I guess, because I've never gone to Vegas. It was very like I don't know, everything is very like extreme, big buildings and casinos and stuff. That was pretty mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I'd actually say. Toronto, just because of the uh, the stadium, it was actually so huge, and there were so many people. Like the crowd was insane. I, I think it was the largest one I played at. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. Did you see yeah, like, there was like ice beneath it? Because oh yeah, yeah, for yeah. Hockey the next day or something. Yeah, we actually wore like a ton of extra layers just because it was supposed to be cold when we were playing <laughs> and we got on stage and it was like really hot yeah it was like the first two we were wearing like the under not even just the underarm but the legs too because it was yeah. so cold during the rehearsal but there was what 15,000 people in the arena or something so I guess that warmed it up yeah it's pretty cool <clears throat> alright um do you have free time on practice days if you do what do you spend it on I think Sneaky might be streaming. It's just my, my quick guess. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. well, I, I stream, you know, like four hours, sometimes a little shorter than that. But there's like about two hours where I'm not streaming, and I kind of just play random stuff. Like super recently, I've been playing a bit of WoW. Like it, it kind of just depends on like what's out. Like I'll play, uh, I don't know, like Path of Exile, like literally, literally anything that'll come out. Like I played... I have it on my desktop, like Gwent, uh, PUBG, Black Ooh. Desert Online. Like, I, I just try a bunch of the new stuff that comes out. What about you? Um, I don't know if I, I don't take free time on every practice day, but, or I guess the time I have is I'll spend, like, solo queue, maybe going to the gym. Uh, I think, I think that's pretty much it. I just play solo queue and, uh, Sometimes if I just want to relax, I'll watch a TV show or read a book or something. Nothing mm -hmm. too crazy. I don't think anyone really has time to have big hobbies or anything. I don't know. It's kind of like, especially during playoffs, the free time each day is extremely limited. Yeah, oh. for sure. It's uh, definitely really, uh, <clears throat> really small windows. Yeah. All right. Next question. Uh, from Lillian Page is if you could remove any champion in the game, which one would it be? Oof, I have a lot right now. <laughs> I'll remove Blitzcrank, Pantheon. Oh. Uh, Wait, Pantheon, really? Have you ever played against Pantheon top? He just uh, oh, not he just recently. ulties mid on cooldown. There's <laughs> there's two guys in Challenger that one trick Pantheon with ignite, and they just solo kill their lane like two times, and then they ulti mid on cooldown. <laughs> and it's just the most miserable thing to play against. Do, do you remember their names? There's the Kit Kats, and there's two guys that play Talon and Pantheon only. Uh huh. And they just told me, I think his name is Kit Kat X or something? Or Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely not Kit Kat X. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, well, he even has a TSM icon. Anyway, this, that guy just destroys me every game. And then Keegan. Keegan is the other one, apparently. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. So, sometimes <laughs> there was a game recently where the enemy team had a Blitzcrank uh, and a Pantheon, and I just dodged. <laughs> I didn't want to play that game. You actually dodged. Because the Blitzcrank Jesus. gets Moby Boots, and the Hero's Myth, and the Pantheon just ulties mid on cooldown. It's just a bad time. Yeah, I, I kind of agree in the the Blitzcrank. I, for some reason, he's just like not terrible anymore like you know he used to just be like always yeah, really yeah. questionable because he just it was so useless without his hook but i don't know there's something that just made him not a bad champion and he's he's really annoying because you just die whenever you get hooked yeah it's like the most disgusting reposition he's like the most useless champion or the best champion in the game yeah like even nowadays i wouldn't even like ever call him useless like he feels like he has so much pressure always yeah the blitzes are definitely a lot smarter now than they used to. Just like spamming mm -hmm. hook on cooldown, but... Yeah. I would probably say, like... My, my chat says Janna. Like, she's not that annoying it's only, for me. Janna's only annoying if it becomes, like, a super long game. Yeah, because she's actually pretty bad in lane phase with coin. Yeah. Because she doesn't really pressure. Like, she doesn't have good damage. And her shields are really weak. So I, 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 <laughs> Sorry, my teammates are just apes. I guess I am at the zoo. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta keep them safe. <laughs> Tend to them. I, I, I probably would have said Zach like last Ooh, match yeah. or something. Zach is not fun either. There's just so many gank angles. It's impossible to play against. But he's been hit pretty hard. I don't know if he's in, as insane anymore. Yeah, I think the thing about Zach is just if, if for one second you forget he's in the game. You're, you're fucked. You're gone. But if, if you're always thinking about him, is you can, like, play around it, but... It, oh, oh, I have a ward here. I'll be fine. And then Zach just comes jumping from, like, the Wraith pit when you're playing mid lane. <laughs> Flying across the world. Hey, Peter, I'm having my T-Mobile AMA. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> you say I'm just nice. saying, I, I think my stream... Yeah, he said nice. I'm having an unlucky game. No wonder I have hearing problems being in a room with this guy all day. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's ask the next question. How much emphasis goes... Oh. At Melo Joe Can you pronounce that for me? Melo Joe Amo. Oh. Okay. That's how I say it. Yeah, actually that was pretty good. How much emphasis goes into player comfort in the champion versus meta during picks and bans? I think that's different for each team. Yeah, it, it's definitely different. Um, it it kind of depends, like, what kind of picks you have that aren't, like, meta entirely. Because, yeah. I, I, I don't know, like, if you have, like, Soul or something as a counter pick, like, you're obviously really comfortable on that as who he. <laughs> but th there might be, like, better picks in the meta against stuff. Yeah, I think it's, like, even if you're not super comfortable, if the champion is really OP, then you'll still pick it. But if it's like, if your comfort pit, pick is like just a bad champion, I don't know, if you're playing a champion and it's just not good in the meta or it's nerfed, you, you wouldn't pick it just because it's a comfort champion, right? So yeah, I, I'd only say you'd pick it if you're like really tilted or something. Yeah, I, I think in longer sets, like the third game in the best of three or fifth game in the best of five, people are much more likely to play something that they're comfortable on. Because you're feeling, like, fatigued. Probably, like, you've been playing for the last three hours straight. It's yeah. just easier to play something that I guess you're used to. Mm -hmm. But I think it's different for each team. There, there's some teams that just plays a lot of comfort picks. Uh, and don't really expand a lot. Like, I think I think a team like uh, FlyQuest are pretty good at playing to their comfort. They'll, <laughs> they'll just play, like, I see High playing just, like, Lucian and Talon every single game. <laughs> uh, balls plays rumble just like that kind of stuff i mean it's not that bad but obviously they they value the comfort what about the uh the all take mordekaiser <laughs> that's the comfort that the, the mordekaiser <laughs> blitzcrank lane yeah. doesn't mordekaiser legit have like 100 something bugs now 100 plus bugs something like that yeah this hilarious right just doesn't he's, care he's just he's a great champion yeah mordekaiser is just Way out there, he can't be. They put him in the bot lane. They nerfed it, and then they just forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. Hope to God they never sell that again. Yeah, after Worlds in 
2015. I never wanted to see him again either. <laughs> what a not enjoyable champion to play against. <laughs> oh, he was fun to play, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Just bonk people with your third whack. Yeah, we did Legit like the, one shot. the TF Mordekaiser strat. We would just dive bot at level 6 because the enemy bot would be level 4, uh, but when it yeah. would be 6. And then TF is 6-2, you take the tower and drag it. Oh my yeah. god. It's That's like the one game insane. we won in groups in 2015. It was TF oh, you guys Mordekaiser. had Mord? Yeah. LTG oh. gave us Mord and played a <laughs> Kalista brand against it, I think. Pretty Ooh. cheese. Oh yeah, I remember the PYL brand. <clears throat> yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, was that your question? I don't know. I think that was. I'm just reading out random ones. That was the last one. On. I think that was your March. question. All right, let's let's do another Twitch chat question. <laughs> oh boy. Is your nice one? Twitch chat question. How does it feel to lose the first round? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. what, what what was Hanser saying during that? Well, when we were loading in the game, it's like. Uh -huh, he is favor! And then I was like, guys, focus, please. We haven't won the game yet. And then Rumble just shat on us. <laughs> it was so sad. Just uh, beating you down. Yeah. I felt like it was like a... It was a mental game by Ray. He knew we were going to let our guard down, seeing the favor rumble. <laughs> he outplayed you with the favor. Yeah. I don't know. That was so sad, actually. <laughs> favor is like the most useless... He's so in a rumble. Yeah, you get like, like, probably like five total opportunities to use it. You have to get into overload, get some autos down. Yeah, you get like four stacks of max. I feel like I, I honestly wouldn't mind if we could remake if there's like an obvious mistake like that. But I guess <laughs> this is a slippery slope for Riot. You, do you think you would have won if we didn't have her? Probably, yeah. We would have come in like... <laughs> All right, guys. Game three. We need, we need to focus. What are we gonna do? Oh, uh, we were thrown uh, off by the the fervor rumble. Not bad. Not bad. That was pretty sad. Yeah. It's just an extra slap in the face when you lose. <laughs> Nunu yep. and fervor rumble. Holy moly. Oh. That's pretty sad. That's pretty strong. <clears throat> oh, let me see if I have a good question in my chat. Um, Loaded up. They're just spamming, come on, bro. Come on, guys. You Give me a something. question for Sneaky. Give me a question. Uh, Alright, all right, the questions are coming in. Who is the most handsome LCS player? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm... That's a toughie. I feel like I'll need to see a like a portrait of everyone. It, it it's like NALCS, right? I guess so. Probably. Sorry, I'm just deleting some. Is there a way to mute invites? Uh. I'm getting some nasty invites. I don't think so. All right, that's okay. Sorry. Hans, most handsome NALCS player. And you can't say yourself. <laughs> okay. Damn, I, I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Hmm. There's some interesting ones in chat. Well, there's a lot of, you know, Acadians. Some Acadians. Some Omar gods. All some... the buff dudes. What about yeah. us? Yeah, where's, where's the. What the about the hardcore at? gamers? The hardcore sticks. The grinders. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the Brodies. They're also rip. <laughs> the Brodies. Who are the Brodies? Yeah. Like, who who all are they? It's like Omar. It's like Sven. Acadian. Sven? Yeah, yeah, he's ripped. Have you seen him yeah, recently? He, yeah, it's just, he's it's actually ripped now. I, I haven't seen his muscles, no. Yeah, they're big. I can tell you that. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Sven. Ooh. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'll let him know. As soon as the stream is over. Yeah, put, put in a good word for him. <laughs> what about Vault Boy? Golden Glare? Um, 
I love the no. Vault Boy memes. Oh, he's actually in chat. Oh my god. Oh no. Spamming Vault Boy. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Alright. <laughs> Maybe your your chat has better questions than mine. Mine are just memeing. Let me look. Hmm. Stop typing questions for a bit. Give me questions, chat. Mine's a spamming Vault Boy, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I got some Vault Boys too. <laughs> You can take one from those two while you're uh... How do you feel about the new champion, Orn? Ooh. I don't know. She's pretty interesting. You can, like, upgrade your items and stuff. He can buy anywhere for himself, right? Yes. That's I pretty cool. think it might be on a cooldown or something. And you can't buy potions. Yeah, you can't buy potions in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I didn't really see his ulti. How does it? How does that even work? Oh, it it's really cool. It like pulls out a ram. What does it come ram, from? From Ram Ranch, um, off like really far on the screen. And it like comes towards you, and then you can whack it again, and you can change its direction. Oh, that's pretty it's, cool. It's really interesting. I like his voice and just the way he looks. It's pretty cool. It seems like a yeah. Is he what is he anyway? Is he like top support? Oh, I, I don't know. They they didn't entirely say. I, I feel like support born. would be like a really obvious <laughs> position because yeah. of like the item thing. Because that kind of seems like a like a pretty significant part of his kit. But did, did you see like all the item upgrade numbers? No. I just thought they you were... could upgrade like major items, like IE, Deathcap. Yeah, like when I first saw them, they're kind of just PB numbers, but it was like a thousand gold, and you can add thirty AD to IE. So it wasn't that significant. I don't know if they'll like change it around. Maybe it's just like, like a, a bigger upgrade. Yeah, that's not super good because then that it's only like a super super late game, or maybe yeah. it's like do, you have a lot of gold and you want to stay on the map. You just upgrade one of your items instead of basing or something. Oh, um, but yeah, that, that could work actually. Well, that'd be great. <laughs> In the middle of a fight, just pick up extra <laughs> thirty AD. One second, Orn. Let me just upgrade my. <laughs> oh the. What, what I originally thought of Orn, like, being able to buy from anywhere, it would be really cool, is, like, you're in a fight or something, you're just chilling in lane, and then you hop into the bush, get your item, and then come out and start beating it with the item. That would be, like, <laughs> so surprising. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You, you just don't base for a long time, you get into a bush. Yeah. You get you buy, like, a 3 gold item. Yeah, you get, like, a protobelt jump up or something. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. It's not yeah. troll, though. I don't know if it'll work that way, but I was hoping. Who's the f funniest teammate you've ever had? The funniest. Impact's pretty funny. I like yeah. I, I, I'd personally go with, with Medios. Yeah, Medios is pretty funny too. Yeah, he, he, uh, you know, he, he connects a lot with my humor. He mm. he feeds off yes. my humor, and it, it I also feed off of his. So... It, it empowers us both. I see, I, I see. I say. Oh my god, you, what about you? you have so many memers. You've had Rush, too. Yeah. For yeah, me, I don't really know. Do, did I have any funny players on TSM? Probably Lost Boy would be the first one that comes to mind. He's more like a, he's more like a meme warrior. Like he, <laughs> he wouldn't meme as much in real life, but then... He'd be, like, kind of quiet in real life. And then I check his Twitter, and he's just feeding all this, like, crazy, hilarious stuff. Did you say meme warrior? Yeah, like a keyboard warrior, but just with memes instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Like key keyboard meme warrior. <laughs> That's pretty much what he was, I think. Yeah, his, he's cool, his Twitter is really good. Like, Lucina, all that stuff. That's so funny. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I, I like this tweets. Oh, my God. Who smells the best and worst on your team? This is straight out of Twitch chat. I haven't really ever smelled anyone bad on my team. Maybe it's just because we collect the same stench or something. <laughs> but I, I never smell any bad smells unless someone's like farting or something. Mm. I see. It's pretty easy for me. Hauser always smells the best because he wears cologne every day. 
Even though we scrim, he just wears a lots of cologne. <laughs> and I think Sven, back when he was, uh, you know, a bit bigger, <laughs> he didn't smell very good. He smells better now, but back then, you know, a morning where Dennis hadn't showered was smelled through the entire house. <laughs> he smelled it all. Wow. He's fit and s- smells good now, so it's fine. <laughs> did Did he learn the cologne ways from Hanser? Not as bad. Kevin just he loves his cologne. I think Dennis just uh. We had, it was at a point where we have to be like, uh, you know, Dennis, let's make sure uh, everyone gets a morning shower in before the meeting. <laughs> make sure everyone's wearing deodorant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone whose name starts with Dennis, make sure you, <laughs> you're wearing deodorant today. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I would ask him and he would be like, yeah, I know that I can smell myself. So that means I probably smell really bad. Ooh. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm not a bully. It's just a question. I'll just, I'll just be honest. Yeah, just, it's an ask me anything. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me pull up a question here. Um, what is your f- best slash funniest memory from your Korean boot camps? Ooh. Hmm. What do you got? I don't know. I got a good one if you don't have one. Yeah, hit me with it. It, it was um, I think it was yeah, it was 2015. Like, we didn't have a setup yet in our, like, apartment, because we were, like, changing apartments. Um, so we went to a PC bong, and, <laughs> like, I was streaming from there, and it was so loud, like, all this stuff. I don't know why, but, like, everyone had their games on the speakers, on the monitors, or something. And I just kept hearing fire in the hole, like, 24-7 <laughs> when I was playing. <laughs> and, it, and it was, like, at about the same time when I... Uh, like first streamed Korean solo case, so like it was also just the trollest games. Like I, I think literally, like four different people were running it down. In, like my first game, like I, I think they like picked Timo and Mord when he wasn't even really a thing. Oh my god! It, yeah, it Korean solo is always fun. Yeah, it was great. I think for me, <clears throat> there was these posters all around the the city we were in in Korea. With it was from like a musical. But it was like a kids musical, I guess. So there was a lot of kids from like I don't know, age ten to fifteen or something. And Loco mm-hmm. convinced one of my teammates that it was like posters for an orphanage, and it was like come uh, come adopt these kids. And uh, for for the next week or something, every time we were out, the person was just like, I don't even want to say who it is because uh, I think they like it pretty bad. What was this? was just like, oh man, it's just so sad. There's all these posters of these kids trying to get adopted. Like, <laughs> I've never seen this in the U.S. It's just so sad. <laughs> and eventually we told him, and he got so mad at Loco. It was so freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. It's, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> There's only a few people who it could be. <laughs> could even be you. Oh, yeah. I just didn't want to blow my cover. <laughs> that was a good time, though. Lots of good Korean yeah. boot camp stories. Yeah, <clears throat> Korea's awesome. Hmm. Let's see if there's any good questions in chat. If C9 and TSM did not exist, what team would you be on? Huh. Let's say in NALCS. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know. Like, technically, I was on Dignitas's B team before. Oh, really? Like all the yeah, they, they had like a challenger team. When well, the main team was like Scar or yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, we were just doing like I don't know. There was like an MLG that we played in. That was like the first thing we did. Uh, that that was technically the team that I was on, but I I think it was gonna change. So how about uh, how about f- fly quest? <laughs> oh, C9 yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> what about you? 
Uh, I would probably want to try to work with like a really good coach, I guess. So maybe like CLG for Ziggs or I heard a lot of good things about Song, the Immortals coach. Mm -hmm. Probably one of those teams. I think it's always interesting you, like working with new people. You don't think you'd be in EU? Oh, I don't if, know. If TSM didn't exist. TSM didn't exist, and yeah, I probably would have never came over. I actually had some, some other offers to go to NA, but I don't know if those would have gotten me anywhere now that I look back. Thank <laughs> God TSM existed. Alright, alright. If you had to be on an EU team. If I had to be on an EU team? Yeah. Oh, just right. assuming like TSM didn't exist and you didn't take those any offers. Definitely just G2 or Fnatic. Those are like the only consistently good mm -hmm. orgs and teams, I think. Those are just uh, the top two. I don't mm -hmm. know. Can't really choose between those. Yeah. Those are some good choices. It's like HGK, I guess, as well. Oh, yeah, they're HGK. Oh, wait. HGK. I think they got the furthest of all teams at Worlds. Oops. Maybe, but, I, should, maybe I should count those in. Oh, no, no. It was, it was tied with Fnatic. <clears throat> and, uh... I, I was going to say the, Origin. The previous year, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Hmm. You got any... Any other good questions? Let me see. Uh, yeah. Troublemaker asks, what is the most difficult thing for you when living in a team house? Hmm. Or maybe, like, so your first struggles, like, when you first entered a team house? Hmm. Uh, when I first moved into the house, I lived on a mattress on Dyer's floor, so... I mean, now it's not that big of a deal because I have my own room. I even have my own bathroom, so I I can have privacy if I want to. But I guess at first it was just I would go from like the gaming room and then I would sleep on Dyer's floor every day. <laughs> I didn't really have anything for myself, but now it's probably just freaking double of yelling all the time. <laughs> if I'm just sitting here trying to play solo queue and he's just fucking yelling, that's probably the the thing I enjoy the least. Uh-huh. I, I'd probably say, typing. like, when I first entered the house, the the dishes were the worst part. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah, team dishes, because we didn't have any, like, people to do them for us, so, like, it was all on us to, you know, everyone do their own dish yeah. after they, after they <laughs> yeah. eat. The like, thing is, every time that comes up again, it's like, no, 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 we'll just take out the trash whenever. Like, people will just do their own <laughs> dishes after they eat. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, just never the happens. Works. Yeah. So they just stack up. Yeah. Do you guys it's have like, paper plates now and utensils? Uh, That's what we do. We, we did, but we also have someone to, like, clean up now. Oh, okay. So it, it makes it a lot easier, a whole lot less stress, definitely. Yeah. Esports players cannot wash their own dishes. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd call it lazy. Like, I, I never really had to do them in my own house. Like dishes, so it was it was a weird transition, and like I, I was even okay with it. Like I did, I, I like whenever the dishes were super piled up, I actually went out of my way to like do them myself without anyone asking, because it was so annoying. Because you like couldn't even wash your hands in the sink because they're just piled up to yeah. the top. So like it was definitely just a lack of experience with dishes, <laughs> with more, rather than being lazy, you know. That that's how I'd explain it. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I, my, my parents always made me do the dishes after dinner and stuff, so. Really? Yeah. That's always the thing. So when I go home now, it's like, oh, I actually have to do my dishes. When I'm in the U.S., I'm always using, like, paper <laughs> plates, paper uh -huh. forks, paper knives, like, plastic. It's pretty chill. I like it. Who takes out the trash? Huh? Who takes out the trash? If someone is late, then Parth just hits him with this straight up one month of trash duty. One month? <laughs> yeah. You serious? Yeah. Mine was like, what, two months ago or something? Because I was late twice in, when we were in Vancouver or something. There's like one time where I was waiting at a food truck for 20 minutes. My food never came, so I had to leave and I was still five minutes late. And then Parth was like, when you get home, you have a month of trash duty. So I got what? fucked. Who's on trash duty right now? 
I think Parth was late, so he gave himself trash duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's pretty next level. Unfortunate. And then after he's done, it's Peter. <laughs> so pretty much there's just always someone on trash duty, because Parth is always putting someone on trash duty. Would he, <coughs> would he consider to be late? Like, even a minute? Probably like... Probably like five plus minutes. If wow. five minutes pass, and then Parth is like, Peter! And then he's still like in the shower or something. Oh. That's pretty late. But like a minute okay. or two is, is not the end of the world, I guess. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Do you guys have any punishment? Like, Faker says he just gets fined <laughs> for being late. <laughs> yeah, I saw that recently, too. Uh, I, had, I had something. Like, it, it was never, like, too long, but if you're late, like, Jack made you pay for, like, the, the team Starbucks run. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> so, like he's getting everyone coffee, and it's like, oh, thanks for the coffee, whoever, like, comes in the room late. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you guys do, like, the the card roulette thing? Card yeah. roulette? Yeah. I've never participated in it, because I always... That's so scary, wanna, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to pay my share. Yeah. I, <laughs> but my, my team definitely does it. Do, do you do yeah. it? No, it's not a thing in our team. Oh, really? Yeah. That's too scary, dude. Either we just pay for ourselves, or if Andy's out with us, then he just pays. Yeah, I'd Andy. rather not get hit with, like, the five times bill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that kind of sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you want to do one last question? Uh, sure. The very last. You, you get to pick. Ooh. The best question. Okay. <laughs> what is this question? If you could be a plant, which <laughs> would you be? <laughs> what plant would I be? Yeah. What the hell? I'm going to have to Google some different plants. <laughs> if you already have one in mind, feel free to... Uh, a weed plant? <laughs> I don't know. A weed plant? The, the honey fruit. Is, is that a real plant? No, I just googled it. It's all leak related. The honey fruit? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would be the I... blasting cone. <laughs> it's my favorite plant <laughs> of all. It's it's pretty useful. <laughs> what plant would you be, good sir? Mm. You could be any plant in the world. How about like, how about like a like a rose? So you can be given off to people for for love. <laughs> to just give you away? Yeah. Here, you, you, you can have chill. Sneaky. He's a rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be, it'd be a great life. Sounds like Be a, sounds like a good time. <laughs> Better than chilling in the, yeah. you know, the forest. I don't think any plant lives very long. so. Never to be picked again. Yeah. I'm just used and abused. <laughs> At least there's some Step love involved. Done. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, it's it's good. Amazing question. <laughs> is that is that all we have for the AMA? I think so. I think we're also doing a uh, magenta jersey giveaway. At least we are for mine. I think for yours too. Yeah, yeah. And apparently the... there's a link in the in the chat, maybe. Yeah, Somewhere? I think type like exclamation giveaway, because that'll that'll link you to something. Yeah, it's on Twitter. You go get one of these beautiful jerseys. Oh yeah, it's on Cloud 9s Twitter, so I can link it too. Best of luck. Wait, you guys play tomorrow, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Damn. Good luck. Thank you. That's exciting. We are very likely to face you guys in the next round, too. What, you don't think Envy will win? Uh, well, it's possible. No, no faith in Envy. It's, it's possible. Wow. I'm, not, I'm not saying they won't win. just saying very likely that we'll have to face you guys. So I, I hope if you beat us, if we get to you, that you win the whole thing, okay? Then you go to Worlds or what? Is that how it works? Oh, yeah, it's... It's an easier route for us if we lose. Otherwise, okay. I don't know. I don't know wait, if you root for wait, us to win. Same. You. If you beat us, please win the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only way we make it to Worlds too. 
Yep. So whoever yep. wins our match just needs to win the whole thing. No pressure. Okay, okay. But you just have to win. I'll, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah. You and me both. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have much reason to want to win, but now I have one. <laughs> now, now I have a good reason to, to win the final. Yeah, you get to you carry get another team to Worlds. Come on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the the T-Mobile bros. The T-Mobile bros. <laughs> we'll high-five in our Magenta jerseys on stage. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, dude. Thank you for uh, hanging out and yeah. answering some questions. Yeah, thanks and, for your uh, time, good best, sir. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Good night, man. Peace out. See ya.